Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi, Jasmine. Hi, guys. Let's see. It's time to start with this class. Okay. We have a lot of activities for this class. Okay, so get ready to participate and to work with the help of your classmates as well. Okay, so let's wait for your classmates. Okay, let me see. I already have five students in the class. Let me ask you, is it raining out there? Because in here it is about to. Same here. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Andres, good evening. Welcome back. Thanks. Here it, it was raining, but now no. Not anymore. Okay. No. So just let me know in case that you're having issues with your internet connection or issues to participate in this class, just let me know, okay? So let's see. Let me show you the topic that we are going to have in this class. And... And after that, we're going to do a review. Look, as you may remember in the previous class on Friday, we were having like five different examples of companies, different brands that they are already applying, implementing this type of activities, the CSR model in their companies. Of course, these are very big um, companies. Most of them, well, all of them are not for El Salvador. So uh, we have been talking about the activities and also doing a quick research on companies and you were also presenting that information based on this topic. Because in unit number three and unit number four, we were discussing about the same topic. So as you may see, this is class number 25. And yeah, uh, we are going to conclude with this topic today. Um, so let me see. What do you remember about this? I was um, sharing this information with you guys or we were watching some videos, very short videos. Um, very nice videos though about these four brands for companies um, and we were like identifying the different activities that they are already implementing so what do you remember about samsung coca-cola lego and 
Sykes. Let's see. ¿Qué recordamos, chicos? Let's go back to Friday and let me know. What do you still remember about this? You can also uh, read the titles that we have there in order to get an idea. Samsung. What was this video about? ¿Quién se acuerda de Samsung? Hmm? What was this, this project about? Let me see who do I have in this class. Preguntemos. Eight students. Creo que sí, todos estuvieron en la clase. I don't know. Jasmine, were you here at that moment in which we were presenting those videos? Uh, yeah, I saw the Coca-Cola one, the yeah, Samsung yeah. one, and um, I think I missed the other two. The, the other because two. Because of the internet connection, yeah. Uh, okay. So what do you remember about Coca-Cola? Let me ask you about Coca-Cola. Uh, they were making some a uh, campaign uh -huh. for environmental um protecting the environment and, and recycling and something like that if i don't remember if i remember correctly and what country was that the project uh, being run quien se acuerdan que país era the one from coca cola what country was that chicos I was in I was in Asia, I think. Was it, was it Singapore or something like that? No. Not really. Israel. In Israel, let me ask you about this. Thank you, Jasmine. Oh. Interesting. Preguntemosle. Ah, let me see. Chan, chan, chan. Erwin. Hi, Erwin. Is Erwin in the class? Are you there, Erwin? Hello, good evening. Teacher, I am my, my, I don't remember, my, <laughs> uh -huh. my work, my platform. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, it, thank you so much for reminding me about that. You know, it was on Saturday night. I was checking the activities, but I'm going to do the last um, review of those exercises tonight, okay, Erwin? Yes, teacher, because I had, I had, I was sick. Really, but how do you yes, feel I, right now? I, do you I, feel better? Are you feeling better? I, I am bad. I feel bad, too. so bad. I do remember the vacuum for the uh, for uh, COVID nineteen. COVID. Uh -huh, COVID nineteen. What happened? I take two vacuum. One. The four and the second is the how say is para la influencia, influence. Uh -huh. But give me a good problem with my heart. Hypertension. Wow. Oops. So in that moment I feel bad, but I, I am here. I am here. But no. my body, my body is not here. In, in, the last week I fall one day, I remember Wednesday, I think, because I feel bad. Yeah. On Friday, I feel so bad. Saturday, I don't want to speak about it this day. Hypertension. So, this has been very hard days, right? They have been. Yes. So, you know, I really appreciate the fact that you're, you know, doing that extra effort and being here in the class. I really hope you to feel better, no? Yes, so, yes. yeah, don't you worry. Tomorrow, I don't know how long it will take for you to start the new model, but probably like uh, one or two weeks. So please, Erwin, take that time to rest and to feel better. Okay. It's the same as you guys. <laughs> I know it has been a very hard journey, right? But don't worry. No se preocupe, Erwin, aquí estamos. Gracias por el esfuerzo. So, uh, Fernando. Hi, Fernando. How is it going? Hi. Hi, Fernando. Let me ask you about the videos. Do you still remember about those videos we were watching? 
What do you remember about the first one? Samsung. What was uh, the project Samsung about? Samsung mm -hmm. add to the community with uh, technology to create, to, 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 ha to have like in darkness because they, they didn't, didn't have uh, El -el electricity. Electricity, okay. I remember oh, yeah. that. I remember. I remember Lego. Uh, I don't know if the Sykes was a a video too. I I I don't remember clear it clear but Okay, so don't you worry. Let me see. So before I forget, let me check the attendance list. Vamos a ver, chicos. Because there are still like five students. No more, I guess, like six students there is still missing. Vamos a ver. Please say here or present. Ya le voy a enseñar su progreso en la plataforma. So you can check uh, if you're still missing an activity, but not really, you know, the rest of you are already done with those uh, activities. And even the final exam is ready. So today is, oh yes, 15. Oh, interesante, es el 15. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Okay. David Samuel Caldames Monterrosa. Present teaching. Very good. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Okay. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Very good. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Génesis del Carmen Hernández Arizuela. Yes, Freddy. Oh, Freddy, you're already here. Excellent. Genesis, um, Ricardo? Present. Okay. Present. Harvin, Isaac, Guevara, Miranda? Harvin is not here. Okay. Jasmine, Marisol, Escobar, Flores? Present. Kenia, Esmeralda, Galvez, Rui? Lourdes, Montserrat, Hernández, Velázquez? Present. Okay. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Telma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Okay. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Okay. okay, there we go. So, class number 25, let me show you the activities that we have for today. Um, chicos, a las 8.30, ya casi, in a few minutes, vamos a desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción, okay? Así que en caso de que estemos todavía trabajando en grupos, los voy a, a sacar un ratito de las salas, ¿ok? Don't worry. Bien. So, what was the topic for today? Brands doing CSR successfully. You're going to find out about that information. Look. Aquí está. So before we move on, we need to have these activities ready. If you go to your student's book, 
Aquí lo tengo. Look. Unit number four. In here we have these questions. Of course, we have been discussing about these questions, but I really want you to go in in pairs, do this uh, quick discussion, right? Develop on and bring your ideas about the topic that we have been discussing. This is going to be the first part of the activity to discuss about these five different questions. So let me see. Let me ask Lourdes, can you please help us reading the different questions that we are going to be discussing? Okay. Okay. Uh, the first one is, have you ever been part of a CSR program? Mm -hmm. What department in the organization is in charge of CSR initiatives? What is an issue your organization will be willing to help solve? Do you agree with the idea that CSR programs are very costly for organizations? And do you think your colleagues will be willing to volunteer their time in a CSR program? Okay, thank you, Lourdes. So please open your um, student's book, go to unit number four, page number 27. You're going to be uh, discussing about these different questions, five different questions about the CSR program. And let me see, I am going to give you 15 minutes, right? So you can discuss about this question. And after that, we are going to come back and we are going to have um, la encuesta de satisfacción. Is it clear what we are going to do as the first activity for this class? Yes or no? Let me know. Yeah. yeah, there we go. Please, alguien del grupo que comparta la pantalla, right? So you can read the questions and have uh, those ideas clear. Vamos a ver. 12 students. No, really. So groups of three. Aquí vamos, chicos. Here we go. David, are you able to participate in these activities or not? Okay, so I am going to send Doris to a different group, okay? Thank you so much for letting me know. Hi. Hi. Hi, so uh, are we going to first uh, discuss the questions, right? The, the first questions or just the, the vocabulary? Okay. As of right now, just those questions, right? That is the uh, first okay. activity, yeah, because of the time. Okay, so have you ever been part of a CSR program? 
Do you have CSR program at your company? What department? What department in your organization is in charge of CSR initiatives? In my job, I have uh, well, the company have a um, a little team, but the the, the team is have assigned the the role of the the cinco S's. Uh -huh. but, but they put in in practice in all areas to to use the a. It's a light to, to, to see its error, but uh, they, they help the, the employees or try to help uh, to develop some metal for, for improve the, the, the procedures in production. Yeah, for production, maybe some, well, it, it, it is true that in some case, the employees have a, um, incentives because they... Uh, sometimes uh, we, we donate our money, the employees, mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and they buy some supplies to to give to the families in El Puerto de Libertad. Maybe that is the, the only active program that is usually, uh, it, it just usually does the, the company. Uh, mm. Well, in, our, in, in my company, we don't, not that I'm aware of, we don't really have any actual program. If we had any, the one responsible will be HR as well, but I have no idea like what type of issue my kind of company will will tackle like like mm -hmm. i don't know if they will have anything to do with like education shelter food i don't know i have no idea <laughs> mm, okay uh what is an issue your organization would be willing to help solve mm. i think it would be environmental problems like the environment and like um you know animal preservation i think mm. one of those yes yes I, maybe i agree because well in my company uh, if i remember well uh, they have to uh uh, twice a year, they they visit uh, some uh, I don't know how how do you say como gardencianos. Ah, okay. Uh huh. Yes, the, 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 they visit and they they give uh, some entertainment to to to, to all the mm -hmm. all the people there and they donate supplies and clouds all the all the uh, all that they they need and twice a year maybe i remember they they do that okay uh... and just yes, the environmental maybe is uh, uh well it's very difficult our company is not uh, is now big to maybe to to cover uh, a mm. project then of that of that kind of Kai big. Yeah. Well, in our case, it wouldn't be like something that it wouldn't be an initiative of ours. It would be more like um in joining and like a client of ours or something like that in that initiative, I think. But for on our own, I I don't think so. I I don't think uh, right now something like that would happen. Uh I do agree that Depending on the program, CSR programs can be expensive for companies. That's true. And I, I think it mostly depends on the type of program it might be. Like, for example, if you... Uh, 
know a, a, a person, uh, she, she worked in a American company in El Salvador. Uh -huh. uh, she, um, she said me que when in, in, in her company, uh, the employees uh, uh, to go a beach or a lake and clean, clean the, clean uh, uh, at the beach in, of garbage. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And she, she said me, oh, is the, my, when I know, no, there aren't uh, many employees. She, she, she went when, when you, her mothers and her brothers. Uh, to to help her uh, to clean okay. or the beach or the lake. They depend where is the the place. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. in my job, uh, sometimes uh, we they do uh, cleaning campaigns of for river lempa mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it's not maybe once in a year uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. in in my company with a, a small company but i tried i tried to to supply papers mm -hmm. and Say uh, I try to to uh, uh, reduce the cost urgently. I know uh, when uh, I know uh, use all the the energy energy electric okay. Okay. <laughs> that's something ecological yes i try yeah reduce the cost in in use the paper but in my case it, it, the paper it use the uh, use paper is a, a hard a higher uh, uh, because uh, all all documents copies the all documents okay okay it is time to come back let's wait for your classmates Okay, so I know we didn't finish with all the questions that we had in that exercise, right? But don't you worry, we we'll still have extra time and we're going to finish uh, having uh, those answers as a group, right? I'm gonna be listening to you. So as of right now, let's wait for your classmates. I'm still missing like two groups. Falta que salgan dos grupos todavía. Ok, ya estamos listos. Bien, vamos a cambiar español un ratito, chicos. Eh, a sus correos, bueno, creo que ya la mayoría, aunque sí tengo varios que es primera vez que toman uno de los cursos de inglés para el trabajo y eh, primera oportunidad que toman esta encuesta. Entonces, en sus correos se les envió la información que vamos a estar utilizando para completar la encuesta de satisfacción. ¿Ok? Así que lo primero que 
eh, les voy a pedir, eh, vayan a sus correos, tengan esa información a la mano. Para que nos sea de mucha utilidad para completar esta encuesta. De igual manera, eh, ahorita la vamos a iniciar y recuerden que este es parte, pues es un requisito que también Insaport establece para definir si cada uno de ustedes ha aprobado o no el módulo que estamos cursando. Así que toda la atención posible, si estamos haciendo algo más, que eh, pongamos el mayor, la mayor concentración en la actividad para que podamos enviarla sin ningún error. Me avisan cuando ya estén listos con la información que está en su correo para que todos a la misma vez vayamos paso a paso completando la encuesta. ¿Ok? Sí, Freddy. A mí no me cayó en el correo. ¿No ha recibido el correo? Vale. No. A mí me cayó en WhatsApp, pero en WhatsApp no aparece la información completa. No aparece completa. Vaya. Entonces, yo igual, de igual manera les puedo ayudar. Vamos a ir todos juntos por eso paso a paso. Si hay algún detalle que no tengan listo, yo se los puedo proporcionar. ¿Ok? ¿Alguien más aparte de Freddy? ¿Alguien más que no haya recibido esa información? Bien. Yo igual, igual lo tengo nada más en WhatsApp, este, pero ahí hay un link, es ese, el mismo, ¿verdad? Sí, es ese es el mismo. Sí, no te parece el nombre exacto de la empresa. Ah, sí, yo les puedo ayudar con esa información, Ajá, el nombre de la empresa, sí, porque hay que ubicarlo tal cual nosotros lo tenemos, pero no se preocupen, se los puedo también compartir por acá, el chat de Zoom, para que ustedes solo copien y peguen esa información. Bien. Ah, ok. Ok, uh, Telma acaba de ingresar, vamos a esperarla. Sí, solo Telma. Hi, Telma. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How is it going, Telma? Oh, Charlie <laughs> Pancha. <laughs> <laughs> Muy bien. Telma, en este momento vamos a completar la encuesta de satisfacción, ¿ok? Okay, eh, ok. Por favor, preparémonos con la información que tenemos para completar. Okay, okay, bien, okay. les presento, sí, el enlace que se nos ha compartido. Se ve así, para que todos lo vayamos completando al mismo tiempo. Así, encuesta de satisfacción inglés. Se solicita su apoyo para completar la siguiente encuesta de satisfacción. La información proporcionada será utilizada por el INSAFOR para fines internos. Si te fijan, eh, tenemos esa información que es de carácter obligatorio. Y el número uno nos indica, ingrese el número completo de la orden de inicio con guiones y pleca y será proporcionado por el proveedor. Puede copiarlo y pegarlo. Resulta más fácil así para que no perdamos ningún detalle de la información. En mi caso, les muestro, luce así. ¿Ok? Orden de inicio, orden de inicio. Copiamos y pegamos. Orden de inicio. Me indican si alguien igual no lo tiene para poder pues proporcionarse. Ok, güey. Solo dejo de compartir. Vale. Ya estoy listo. Solo copiamos y pegamos. Y me indican cuando estén listos para seguir con el número dos. Richard, can you share that information in the chat of the WhatsApp? Ok. Ahorita le ayudo con gusto. Ari. ¿En WhatsApp o les queda mejor aquí en Zoom? WhatsApp, please. 
Bueno, voy a compartirlo acá y allá también. Internacional, nombre del curso. Ok, ya casi nos vamos al número dos. ¿Empresa donde yo trabajo? Vale, ya vamos. Ahorita vamos por el número uno para que todos vayamos completando. Ahí lo acabo de copiar. El número uno, David, ya está en WhatsApp. Okay. Vámonos al número dos. ¿Qué nos indica el número dos? Nombre completo, ok. Su nombre completo, nombres y apellidos. Está difícil, no sé cómo me llamo. <ríe> nombre completo, ahí está. Okay, I, I'm ready to sing. No, not yet. Todos vamos igual, okay, Telma? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hasta que yo indique. Okay. Sí, okay. para que no haya ningún error y que después, teacher, me equivoqué y lo pueden ver otra vez. No, por eso vamos, si tenemos tiempo, tranquilos. Okay. Muy bien, Telma. De igual manera, el correo electrónico. Recuerden que esta es información que también ustedes compartieron con nosotros. Así que que sea la misma información, chicos. Correo electrónico. Información personal y su número de celular. Vamos por la número cuatro. Número 5, de igual manera, información personal. Seis, departamento y municipio de residencia en el número 6 y 7. Acá yo claro. Disculpe, el número de celular va todo unido sin guión o lleva guión en medio. No, escríbalo todo unido. Ah, vaya, gracias. Perdón, otra pregunta. Está bueno que el nombre lleve las tildes, porque a veces siento que no. ¿En qué parte? En el nombre completo. Eh, tildes, o... No, escribámoslo, sí, con tildes, tal cual como es nuestro nombre. Ah, ok. Que a veces dan problemas. Por el sí. Génesis lleva tilde, ahora sí, así escribamos. Sí, y Hernández también. Hernández. Ajá. Gracias. Ok. Vale, nos habíamos quedado en departamento y municipio de residencia. Bien, me voy a mover al número 8. Eh, Freddy, ¿verdad? Freddy necesita. Ahorita le ayudo a Freddy. Azok, no sé qué diablo. Común, no sé qué diablo. <ríe> Come on, guys. Freddy. <ríe> Vamos a ver. En la, en, la, en la 8 no es el nombre de la empresa en la que trabajamos o, o cómo. Sí, recuerden yes. es la empresa para la que ustedes laboran. Ajá. Y por eso les digo, si no recuerdan exactamente todo el nombre, yo se los puedo compartir. Yo cuento Echa, con... me comparte el mío, por favor. Vale, primero voy con eh, Freddy, luego con Kenia, ¿ok? 
El mío también. O sea, sí, creo que si lo recuerdo, pero no voy a hacer que lo tengan diferente. <risa> Freddy, o sea, estamos el de Freddy. Bien, Freddy. Muy bien. ¿Quién? Ok, Kenia y Genesis. Vale, gracias. Okay. Este es el de Genesis. ¿Alguien más ah, que necesite esa info? Paso con idea, qué raro. Lo ponemos así en mayúsculas, tal cual, ¿verdad? Sí, co pueden copiar y pegar, no hay ningún problema. Ok. Sí, ¿Eh? mató un poco tu casa. Okay. Tienes miedo a cuchillo. Al igual sí, pero tú no. Tienes miedo a cuchillo. ¿Eh? Sí. ¿Alguien más? ¿Cómo estamos? Doris, Andrés, Lourdes, Nari. Si no nos movemos. Mm. Alan. It's okay. It's okay, very good. Esa era el número 8. En el caso del número 9, muy bien, Yanari. Nombre del proveedor con el que se, que se capacitó. Buscamos. Inglés corporativo. Aquí está. Regal International, SADCB, inglés corporativo, ahí está. En el caso de la número 10, el nombre del curso, inglés avanzado, módulo 2. Inglés avanzado, módulo 2. Con comillas, va teacher. Sí, pueden copiar y pegar la información. Si quieren, se los comparto también. Para que solo copien y peguen. Ok. Ahí está. Bien, seguimos con el número 11. Valore los siguientes aspectos relativos al curso y ahí tenemos tres eh, aspectos que nosotros vamos a evaluar. ¿okay? Número 12, ¿en qué fecha inició el curso? Y la número 13, ¿en qué fecha finalizó? Dimos inicio el 4 de julio del 2022 y este día 15 de agosto finaliza. 4 de julio fue el inicio y finalizó el 15 de agosto de 2022. Muy bien. Creo que se nos acaba de unir Harvin, right? Yes. ¿Cómo estamos, Harvin? It's fine, how? Ok, vamos, eh, estamos completando en este momento la encuesta de satisfacción. Puede ir a su correo y ahí va a encontrar las, la información que necesitamos para completar. I only received the message on my WhatsApp teacher. Va, pero tiene el enlace, sí. Yes. Muy bien, no hay problema. Sí. Si tienes información, el enlace, cualquier consulta, más que todo con la número 8, empresa donde trabaja, si no tiene el nombre de la empresa completo, pues me lo pida, yo le ayudo. Es lo, lo único que le iba a pedir, tal vez si me podía mandar para ver cómo parecía. Ah, vaya, perfecto, ahorita. Fecha de inicio y de finalización. 
Ahorita se lo comparto. Y luego nos hace falta la número 14. ¿Cuál es su nivel de satisfacción de, pues, después de completar el curso? Recuerden que eh, usted puede seleccionar cualquiera de las dos opciones. Pero al seleccionar la opción de insatisfecho, eh, nosotros nos damos por enterado que no procederá con la inscripción al siguiente módulo. Perdón, número... teacher, yo no, no logré escuchar bien eso que estaba de decir, lo puedes repetir, por favor. Eso fue del número 14. ¿Cuál es su nivel de satisfacción Ajá. después de completar el curso? Y les mencionaba okay. que ustedes pueden seleccionar cualquiera de las dos opciones que tenemos, pero al seleccionar la opción de insatisfecho, eh, nosotros uh -huh. nos damos por enterados de que no procederán con la inscripción al siguiente módulo. Ah, ok, ok. Harbin, ahí envía al chat de, de Zoom el nombre de la empresa. Gracias. Ok. Maquiles, ahí es Harvey. Uh -huh. sí. ¿Cuáles son otros cursos de su interés? Ahí sí, eh, ustedes pueden comentarnos cuáles son sus cursos, qué más les gustaría tomar aparte de los cursos de inglés. Y la última que es comentarios. Antes de enviarla, por favor, revisemos que todos los campos están... Eh, completos y que llevan información correcta. Y al darle a enviar, tomemos una captura de pantalla, un screenshot, lo compartimos en el grupo de WhatsApp junto con su nombre para que se nos sea fácil identificar esa información de que ustedes ya la enviaron y que no quedan pendientes de completar la encuesta. Voy a estar revisando. Ahorita somos en la clase 16, 15, 15. Bueno. Ahí está Jessica Yanari. Muy bien, tengo tres. Perfecto. Ahí está Kenia, muy bien. Freddy. Andrés. William. Erwin. Doris. Genesis. Ok, si hay alguien más de enviarlas, pues no olvidemos hacer. Ok, great, bien, clase. Vamos a la actividad que estábamos desarrollando. What was the activity that we were eh, developing as the first one in the class? Let me see. Let me know about your opinion. And after that, we're going to move on to the next one. Muy bien, Telma, ya recibimos la de Telma también. Ok, let's start with William. Read the question and ask this question to one of your classmates. Number one, here we go. Ok, number one. Mm -hmm. 
Have you ever been part of a CSR program? Mm. Jasmine. There we go. Jasmine, let us know about this one. If I've ever been part of a CSR program? Yeah, the first one, next thing. Uh, well, I've been like in um, like community projects, but they weren't part of a company. They were more like um, uh, done out of self-interest, right? Like came from me to search them out. Uh, so I've officially a CSR program, no, no. not really. Okay. How about you, William? I haven't. Fine. Okay. Jasmine, pick one of your classmates and ask him or her the second one. Jasmine. Uh, um, I'm, I'm, I'm Freddy's. <laughs> Okay, ask that question, please. Question number two. So what department in your organization is in charge of initiatives? Okay, what department in your organization is in charge of CSR initiatives? Fred. Well, in my case, there's no, actually, there's no CSR in my, where I work at. Okay, there's no. Interesting. Nope. So, Freddy's ask the same question to one of your classmates. The same question? Yeah. Number two. Number two. What department in your organization is in charge of CSR initiatives? Uh, who has, um, let me see. Ooh. Erwin. Okay, Erwin. Yes, teacher. Let us know about this one, number two. <coughs> what department in your organization in charge of CSR Institute? Initiative. Initiatives, yeah. Okay. Maybe the marketing department, the department of marketing. Okay, so in your case, Erwin, as you are the owner of a company, do you have a program like this in your company, a CSR no. program? Or no. probably some activities. No, that teacher. they may be familiar, not really. No, teacher. Okay. So interesting. Erwin, ask this one. This question to one of your classmates. Okay. What is the issue your organization will be willing to have a song? Yes? Mm -hmm. To home. Uh, for me or for the classmates? No, one of your classmates. Ask these uh, uh, questions to one of your classmates. I don't know who one. Uh, yeah. William. Okay, William. The number three, William. Mm -hmm. uh, but in my case, it isn't uh, CSR program so in the case that you have this model uh what is an issue that probably your company organization will be willing to help solve mm -hmm. there's an issue mm -hmm. maybe recycling or something like okay. that okay okay Mm -hmm. Recycle. Very good job. Let me see. Let me have a girl for this one. Number four. 
pick one of your classmates' name, William. A girl. Lourdes. Okay, Lourdes, go ahead, please. Let us know about this one. Read the question and please tell me your opinion about this. Okay, uh, it says, do you agree with the idea that CSR programs are very costly for organizations? Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, we can, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's, it's, the, it's the church. Oh, really? <laughs> they are celebrating something. Uh, I think, yes, they are very costly, but I think it depends on the activity they choose. It may be something small for the community or the employees can, can be a, a big difference for the people. It doesn't have to be like changing entire lives like the videos we, we watch yeah right okay but, but yes i think it should be it should uh i should have a, a budget uh, a very specific amount for that okay interesting excellent order. and let me have the last one this is for a guy preguntemosle ah let me see Andres Giovanni, go ahead, please. Let us know about this one. Read and tell us okay. about your opinion. Do you think your colleagues would be willing to volunteer their time in a CSR program? Uh, I think yes. Uh, because actually, we we have like a kind of CSR program like uh, cleaning campaigns in river in Lempa River. Oh, really? Interesting. Uh -huh. Yes. So, do you are part of that team, or you do you develop that activity because you really want to be part of this, or? Is it like mandatory for you to participate? Mm -hmm. No, in my case, I think <laughs> that it's, uh, it's good for the river because uh, we have many tourists, but they they throw many garbage. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. So it's important to try to have clean the river. Okay, so interesting and very nice example. How about you, Telma? What can you tell me about this one? Okay. Um, actually, my my company mm -hmm. uh, we have a a program. Uh, it's about the minimizing the use using the paper and the oh. other 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 suppliers to consume. Okay. Yeah. And uh, mm, almost, uh, well, uh, all, all partner is, uh, is agree about this idea and helping between us. <clears throat> so they do not complain about the uh, paper waste. Uh, decision, no? Yes. They do not. Okay, so interesting. You know, in my case, um, the, my last job, the place I was working, you know, they have like this initiative of swell, but they were, um, I don't know, so you want to explain you know, because they even <laughs> uh, were, uh, you know, in the the restrooms, they they ask us to bring the toilet paper from home. Hasta eso nos quitaron el papel de baño. Imagine. So I don't think, because my, um, I still remember my boss, she was so mad when we knew about that because of course they were trying to save and those were great initiatives. But at the same time, they were affecting us. And even uh, el agua de los garrafones, you know, que teníamos, los quitaron también. They ask us 
to bring our own water or bottles of water from home. So there were some teachers that uh, complained that they, because they wanted to show these lady from human resources that they were not in agreement with that decision. They were carrying those big bottles, you know, esa botella de, ¿cómo se llama? De, de agua, los grandes garrafones. They were even carrying, you know, from their classrooms to the teacher's room in order for that girl from human resources. So she could notice, you know, that they were not in agreement with that. So it was kind of funny, you know, so at the end, um, there were like, a lot of complaints about this situation. And of course they gave us back all those resources because we really needed them now. So yes, as you may see in my case, that girl from human resources, of course she was trying to implement this type of activities, but as we have been learning and reading about this, it is not just a person decision, right? About the activities. We need to work as a company, employees, uh, people from the school board, in this case, uh, the coordinators, teachers, because I'm talking about my personal experience, you know, we need to have that agreement, you know, about the activities that we are going to be developing. If not, um, there uh, we could have like a lot of issues, you know, or people uh, that is part of that company, of that business, they will get mad. So interesting opinions, you know? I know that it's not that common to have all, all those programs in El Salvador, or no le llamamos así, le llamamos responsabilidad social. But yeah, most of the time, uh, it is kind of expensive, you know, or Probably we don't have like, um, um, or people, they don't want to be part of those activities or they are not willing to uh, go and develop those activities after uh, your uh, regular schedule uh, from work. So what else do we have? As you may notice, we still have this activity, we're still missing this information because we're going to have a reading as the last activity. But before having that reading, we need to look for this information. Building vocabulary. From unit number four. Eight different key terms that we are going to uh, be using in that reading. Look. Let me know, Harbin, can you help us read about this one? Just the, the title, the key terms. The, the third teacher. Mm -hmm. This one. Okay. Social value, mm -hmm. corporate Bye. value, access to existing CSR action, and read success. Okay. Social value, corporate value. Value, value. Very good job. And these other four. Dottie, help us ring. Easy of implementation, senior mm -hmm. management, immediately outcomes, drawbacks. Okay, ease of implementation. Thank you, Loris. Senior management, immediate outcomes, and drawbacks. What comes to your mind whenever you see these key terms? Do you know the meaning or can you give me a meaning about these terms? What is this about? Let's start with this one. What is a social value class? What is a corporate value? Any idea? I think it's when a uh... When the companies benefit a uh, community. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Which one? Social value. Uh, or corporate value. 
de company uh, 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 emphasis with the uh, with company with a uh, community. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you about this one, guys. What is this one? Ease of implementation. What is that? Drawbacks. Senior management. What is that? Any idea? Not really. If not, let me show you. Let me present the activity, the second activity for this class. Here we go. Group work. Okay, go online to find out more about the key terms in this lesson. We have eight different key terms, definition that we need to go and look for them, right? As the same as the previous units, uh, we're going to be working in pairs or in groups. I don't know, probably groups of three. So please, um, get in agreement with your classmates, which is the one that you're gonna be looking for. For and after that, one of your groups is going to paste all that information in section number four, task 4.a, and uh, in the discussion box. Okay. Así como hemos, hemos estado trabajando in the previous units. Is it clear what we're going to do in this moment? Yes? No? Questions about this activity? Okay. Vamos a trabajar en grupos. Here we go. Let me see. Here we go. Vamos, class. Tenemos hasta las nine. 9.30 to go and complete that activity. I'm gonna send you the picture and you can also find that information in the, in the student's book. Maybe, uh, maybe one or two weeks. Uh, it doesn't start uh, immediately after? Usually, no. Oh. Uh, maybe uh, the, next, uh, the next Monday or the next after the next Monday. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Hmm. Okay. So... Do you want to look for uh, the first four definitions and I look for the second four? Okay. Or? Yes. Okay. So, so I will look for ease of implementation, senior management, immediate outcomes, and drawbacks. Okay. Uh, in my case is social value, corporate value, Asset existing CSR action and RIP success. Okay, sure.
I can go ahead and look for the, the three first ones. Okay, so you want to take the social value, corporative value, and the assess existing CSR action? Yes. Those three? Okay. Um, so we have five of them. So I take the REAP success, ease of implementation, and senior management. And William gets the other two. Okay. Okay. All right.
Y entonces usted está en Social Valley, Telma, ¿verdad? Social Valley, ¿qué área? Doria está en Corporate Valley. Ajá. Y yo estoy en mi casa. Ay, tan payaso este. <risa> Bueno, ahí está, es Corporate Valley. Ahí te queda. ¿Y dónde están poniendo lo, el detalle? Es que yo creo que lo vamos a poner. Va que we have, we have to put it on the platform, right? Yes, ah, ah, ahí ah. es. Ok, entonces tengo que abrir el libro. Entonces, ¿cómo ah. se va a salir de tu pantalla, Doris? Vamos a ver. Ay, porque, bueno, voy a, voy a tratar porque esta máquina se me pone lentísima. Cuando abra así bastante, vamos a ver. Muchos cálculos tiene. <ríe> tiene sí. el formulario nuevo de IVA ay no ay, complicado, sí. hoy, hoy trae unos apartados para agregar algo ahí a los exentos ay, sí me ha dado polera. ah sí ¿Verdad que sí? No, no, a mí no me ha dado problemas y casi terminé todos no, no sí, me sí. Ah, sí, lo más No me fíjate con comments. Uh, 
So social value. Um, are you gonna read them or? Or we just discuss them? Mm. So social value is basically when uh, the actions of a company affect the mm, people in general, right? Yes. Okay, and corporate value. Oh. Maybe the corporate yeah. value is, with, is, is including in the mission and vision of the company. Yeah. Yeah, I had a different idea. Oh, well, it's basically the same because uh, the idea I had was like uh, as if it was um, like profiting. Uh, the, the company uh, ah. just wanted to profit for uh, I don't know but yeah it's most uh, it's mostly the exactly the yes it depends the context because if we are talking about financial things maybe corporate values is means uh, the the value of the of the market in the market of the company or something like that or maybe the the brand the mar the value of the brand of the company. Mm -hmm. but you know i think you're you're right actually um uh, now that you mentioned it i think it's more like the mi mission y vision of, of the company that uh, everyone within the company should ser share the same values in order for the company to succeed mm -hmm. right so i think that's more likely um, then assess existing CSR action. Um, just a quick parenthesis. Teacher, can, can I uh, log into the class with my computer and can you assign me to this um, chat uh, classroom? Please. Yeah, sure, sure. Don't you worry. Okay. No, <laughs> we're gonna wait for you. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm on it. Um, let's see. Uh, okay. Um, I'm there. Already. Okay, there you go. This is room number one. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Yeah. Number one. Number one. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Okay, okay so, sorry. Um then I was I was about to read the other one. Oh okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is that before she left. I wanted to ask her that. <laughs> okay. Assess. I'm not sure with, with this what what means. I'm still this here. Part. Questions about that one. Uh -huh. um, I think it is when, how can you join an existing CSR action? Probably like. Maybe it's know. an evaluation of the, of the results of the CSR. Mm, yeah. Uh -huh. You got it right, Fernando. As it says, yeah. assess, it comes from assessment. So what is an assessment? It's whenever we are implementing already like a certain type of activities. And what do we need to do? Like to make that evaluation in order to see, as it says, right? How well the company has uh, integrated this model or this activity itself. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So, and how do you actually 
make that evaluation through inquiries or or how to maybe is for to make uh, i think uh, when you implement a csr mm -hmm. uh, we we were talking about the you you don't only have to to help or give to the communities or for the society you have to get profit for that so maybe in in the in the in the assets mm -hmm. you can evaluate the the results if you if your plan uh, is complete or and what is the results of the of the plan you you implement yeah you yes right. sir yeah it's like the uh, the purpose or the goal of the evaluation is to see if if the csr program is actually beneficial for the company maybe or Yes, and maybe if it's the, the, the CSR reached the, the objective that, that were, uh, were right, right in, the, in the writing in the, at, at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I don't know if it has something to do with this, but I was, uh, when we were discussing the other questions, um, there was a specific question about uh, if the CSR is costly for a company. And I was reading an article where they talked about how um, many people view CSR as expensive, but uh, there are different um, methods for it to be actually beneficial for the company because for example, if a company uh, has or cares about the employees, which is a part of the CSR, um, the employees will work better because the environment is is better. So in the end, that is uh, productive for the company. And I think that that is a way to evaluate. For example, today, we my company sent us uh, uh, an inquiry about the, how we feel in the company and if we have all the tools uh, that we need in order to work. But um, that's as far as they have tried to implement CSR, I think. But probably they are trying, right? <laughs> but it's kind of hard, I guess. But in the end, oh, I Did you finish? Uh, yeah, we only have like the technical issue that since oh. all of us are on the phone, <laughs> we're having like <laughs> just to put it in the uh -huh. platform. Because uh -huh. we, I like, I asked uh, William if he could put it on, and he said, "I no, I'm on the phone too." Then we asked Kenya, <laughs> and like three for three, we're on the phone. <laughs> okay, so. That, that's the only part that we're missing. But if you see the chat, like everything is in it. So, so let me check. So let me ask you questions about those uh, key terms, definition that we were looking for. Not really. Let me ask you about this one. Vamos a ver qué encontraron. Let me ask. Okay. Okay, social value, what is that? Mm -hmm. William, Justin, Kenya. You know, this is part of uh, looking for uh, definitions, right? So you can compare and you can read the information together in order to see yeah. if you got like the main idea of the mm -hmm. uh, terms, right? So did you already do that discussion or not? So as I understand it, social value can mm -hmm. be perceived in different ways. So you have like the social value within an organization's um, objectives, if you mm -hmm. will. 
And the sociable is like a qualification of like importance that people give to either uh, changes their experience throughout their life. Like, uh, for example, social values for can be what is considered, um, let's say, morally correct and what uh, society perceives as something that should be uh, respected and, ch and cherished in a way. So what is a social value now is not the same as it was like, let's say 40, 50 years ago, right? Yeah. So, that, so now apparently it's socially acceptable for someone to pretty much go exposing everything, leaving nothing to the imagination and the streets. But previously, you couldn't even show your legs to go yeah. to the beach. Exactly. So uh, everything that's considered a social value, like modesty and such, can change as society changes. So it's a little like, it's not a rigid concept. It's something that can change throughout time. Okay, so quite interesting. Let me ask you another question. Is it the same as corporate value, social and corporate value? What are the difference? Uh, well, social value is something that society on its own perceives as something important okay. and have a measure of respect or um, let's say um, significance to mm -hmm. it. And it's something that is shared through the society on its own. But the company values, it's what uh, the company sees as its main goal and as the way, like like the guidelines of what the company wants to achieve. Exactly. So it it's can like a be... certain group of people, right? Who work in the same place. Yeah, 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 so yeah. yeah. Quite so, so, the, so the company can values change from company to company exactly. um, but the society values the social values may change from society to society but it's within the same society exactly. and even if the, there's a slight changes within societies or when you compare them with one another there are elements that remain the same in each one and doesn't really translate to the corporate values that well. Okay, so interesting. Just let me go and visit group number five and, that, and after that we're coming to the main room. We're coming to that, okay? Okay. Okay, well, so here we go. Hi. Hello, teacher. Question. Hello, teacher. Can you help me, please? Of course, I'm here to help you. Uh, we search uh, or find uh, the the meaning of the access exiting CSR option. Okay. But according to Google, we <laughs> don't have a, a like a, a definition. A, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, okay, so let me give you this idea. Access. It's come from assessment. What is an assessment? Or what is a synonym for an assessment? Uh, okay. Like a review, no? Uh -huh, like a review or evaluation. So mm -hmm. evaluating an existing uh -huh. CSR action. As you may remember, we have like different parts of a CSR model. I, I guess like six, I say six cores, valores mm -hmm. que no podemos cambiar, right? So, mm -hmm. for example, if we were like implementing or already implementing like um, environmental initiative, ah, okay, like go and cleaning that river that is near our company, we really need to know if this initiative it's really working, right? So, how do mm -hmm. I do it through mm -hmm. an evaluation? Because if I don't do that, I won't have the results that I'm expecting. Que es la otra parte, like reap success. 
si yo no as, eh, evalúo, no voy a recoger o tener resultados, el éxito, right, que estoy esperando. So this is all about assess, mm, assessment. Okay. But don't you worry, if you don't have like a definition, I had one group, I guess it is Genesis group. She got like that definition. I don't know where did you find that information, <laughs> but you can go and listen to that definition. And after that, uh, get it from there, okay? Okay, okay. So, yeah, because it's, it's only this topic, we don't know how the, the definition. So with those ones, so don't to worry. Que no me he dado cuenta del tiempo. Come on, class. We are about to finish with this class. <laughs> and I have an extra activity, you know. Siempre. Oh, yeah. yeah, so I guess we won't have that time. So let's go uh, back to the main room. Okay. And we okay. compare those results. Excellent. Great job, guys. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, it is time to come back. Okay, vamos a chequear la plataforma. Let me see. In the case of uh, the activities, uh, midterm exam, final exam. Uh, let me see, nobody's missing to complete those activities. So let me say, excellent job, guys. Awesome, this activity. I only have Doris, Freddy's, and Telma. How about the rest of you guys? ¿Qué pasa con los comentarios? Don't forget that this is part of the activity. You go and look for the definitions, and then you have the information here. And then we have like, uh, Discussion. ¿Qué pasó acá? Los demás, si pueden compartirla, si no, vamos a estar compartiendo pantalla. So you can tell me about that information. Here we go with the first one. Social value. Let me ask to the first group. Fernando Genesis and Janari. You're going to tell me about the first two key terms, social value and corporate value. What did you find? Okay. You can share your screen because I noticed that you had this. Yeah, there we go, that information. Go ahead, please. Read and let us know about your opinion. Okay, social value. Social value is the quantification of the relative importance that people place on the changes they experience in their lives. Uh, some, but not all, is this value of captured in market prices. It is important to consider and measure the social value from the perspective of the affected by an organization's work. Uh, maybe uh, when you 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 when you think are thinking in a social value, maybe you are thinking in the maybe. The company, what, what the company gives to the society, when all the all the operation and maybe all the programs, CSR programs, or it, it depends of the of the target, the target of your company. What is the what is, what what your company apports with to the society? Uh, not, not only the products or or the brand, what is the, the, the mission or vision that the, the company uh, wants to to project to the society? Okay. Yeah, and it can it can be uh, anybody that uh, is affected, like the employees or the customers or the, anyone that has a relationship with the company. How about the second one? Corporate. 
Uh, do you want to read it, Hennessy? Ah, okay, sure. Um, a corporate value is a, a company values are the set of guiding principles and fundamental beliefs that help a group of people function together as a team and work toward a common business goal. These values are often related to business relationships, customer relationships, and company growth. So um, we were discussing how this is like, uh, in Spanish, we call it the la misión y la visión of a company. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, I think it's the guidelines that uh, every employee or people that uh, shareholders, stakeholders that are related to the company uh, should share the same values in order to uh, get to a specific uh, place or uh, reach a, a specific goal for the company to succeed. Okay, interesting. So is it the same as social value that a corporate value? Or what are the differences? Okay, mm. this is for all of you guys, but Genesis, if you have an opinion about it, you can let me know. Well, I think it is not necessarily the same thing, but they work together okay. in order for a company to develop properly because um, the corporate values probably is like the core um, uh, value of of how a company functions. <laughs> oh, I thought it was yeah, right. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Pensé que era solo yo, ¿verdad? Santo, ¿qué se está moviendo? In my case, I'm not afraid, you know. No sé si ustedes, chicos, but don't worry. Take your time. Si necesitan parar, no hay problema. Sí, pero no fue muy fuerte. Bueno, digo yo, no sé. Ok, ya hasta el video. ¿Qué vamos a discutir ahora? Las diferencias, right. Ok, ok. Pero creo que no es la misma cosa, pero... That the, they work together. Uh, probably the social value is like the goal to, pro, I don't know, the, the, the goal of the company is to, uh, you know, work at, to benefit society or people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they do it through the corporate values because it's what, what's within the company. And exactly. So, ah. excellent. And, so. <laughs> okay. 946. Wow. So excellent. Let me see the other two. Vamos a ver group number two. Queda. Where is it? Here we go. Who was working in group number two. No puedo ver, let me see. Jasmine and William. Chicos, les toca los otros dos. We're gonna be in charge of this one. Go ahead, please. Which ones again? Oh, those. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can do the uh, same. Okay. I'm not right, but you're working from your cell phones, you said, right? So you're just going to read and let us know about those. Yeah. Definitions. Go ahead. Okay, one more moment then. Uh, 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 where is it? Oh. I had it on the chat though. Where is it? Ah, talk about the one I did, which is the the ease of success. I guess it was so like which one was it again? Let me see. Ah, okay, okay. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, reap success. Okay. Um, the one I did was reap success, and reap success means when you get or receive or collect the benefits or the yeah the consequences of implementing a plan or implementing an action and it's and you and it means that you succeeded in implementing whatever plan it was mm -hmm. right and is when you receive the benefits or the results of the effort you implemented on this is a is, uh, ¿cómo se dice en español? Uh, ma, 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 ma. Cosechar los beneficios Cosechar, de lo que uno plantó, exactly. ¿verdad? Cosechar, uh -huh. eso significa, very good. How about the other one? Assess. Existence is our action. Es otra definición. Son relacionadas, you know, they are related to each other. ¿De qué se trata esa? Or, I don't know if William, he wants to. Let us know about oh, no, that one was Kenya. Kenya. Kenya was with us. Okay, Kenya. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, please, Kenya. Thank you, Jasmine. This one. We're still missing this one. Let me look for Kenya. Kenya, I guess she's not longer here. Se la llevó el temblor. A ver, no, she's not here. So let's move on. Grupo número tres. Well, <laughs> before we move on, as, a, as I understand the concept, uh, yeah, as okay. existing CSR, CSR actions, yes. um, is when you like take, you examine or review. Exactly. If the company or or anything you're you're cooperating with already has CSR plans ongoing, mm -hmm. and you review and check if the plan that you have going on actually works, and what um what effects said plan currently has, if it's actually working, if it's actually helping or not, and if it's not what you, you have to change it and what you can do to change it to actually make it work. Or if it's working, see how much is working. If it's like having a little success, moderate success. And if it's not that successful to change it so you can actually have success. There we go. That's why is it necessary, you know? This is like the previous step in order to get those results. Interesting, and thank you so much, Jasmine. Freddy's, Doris, and Thelma. Let's see. Let me know about these ones. Ease of implementation and senior management. What, the, what is the information that you have? Go ahead, please, guys. Well, in, in the... The concept, the basic concept, the easy of implementation is a is a discretion uh, describes how easily user can use a product. Okay, is that the definition? Is uh, describes how easily user can use a product. Okay, okay. Okay. Can you Next. give me an example? Uh, I understand is uh, when in the product, the almost product, it describes the use of product. For example, uh, sample, uh, before use, uh, wash, uh, oh, wash, or, oh, or, oh, or, oh. I don't know how to say, um, clean, for clean the, 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 it's a, it's a product for the clean, to clean. 
Ah, ah. Clean, cleaning products. Okay. No, un, un, ojalá, en, en otros eh, step in the in the in the step eh, great step for use the product. Oh, the instructions. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if it's a uh, it's okay. <laughs> I don't know. Your class uh, what's your opinion about this one? Or I don't know if uh, Freddy's or Telma, what is your opinion about this one? Do you want to help Doris with those examples? Is of implementation? What is that? Mm -hmm. Is of implementation. Right now, I don't know why, but um... <laughs> all the definitions I was looking for, they all were wrong. So oh, the only yeah. one that was getting good definition it was it was Thelma and Doris. Mm -hmm. Okay. So remember, okay. we, we may have yeah. like different like definitions. So uh, we're just uh, comparing. Uh, yeah, tell me. Uh -huh. I I see it's a it's a a method. For you see a method or, or, or for process in the uh -huh. company. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. When you use a when you use a, a system, informatic system, uh, uh, there are a method. Yes. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we are just missing uh, immediate. Well, no, but no puedo ver. Let me see. Yeah, the outcomes and drawbacks. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver, the last one, last group. We still have Andres, Erwin, David, Francisco, and Harvey. So, Andres and Erwin, please let me know about this one. Immediate outcomes and the last group is going to tell me about drawback. Vamos, deme las definiciones, please. Here we go. Okay. Immediate outcomes, a change that is expected to occur once one or more outputs have been provided or delivered by the implementer. In terms of time frame and level, these are short-term outcomes and are usually changes in capacity, such as an increase in knowledge, awareness, skills, or abilities, or access. Okay. Very good definition, yes. Okay. okay. About the other one, the last one, the last group. David, Francisco, and Harvey. The last definition. Drawback. Drawback. What is that? ¿Qué es que significa eso? Or give me an example about that. One. If not, let me show I... you the definition. Go ahead, please. I'm sorry. Okay. I tried. Uh, drug back are full of duties, especially on an important product. Disability, so, expert, I don't know how do you say this word. It's, it's large. Let me share in. Okay, the, go ahead. Can you see? Let me see, where is it? Wait, which one? Successfully, uh -huh. or, I don't know. 
It is correct. Subsequently. Successfully. Subsequently. Subsequently. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, subsequently imported or used to produce a uh, product for export. Okay. Let me show you the definition this, that we have. This is the definition that we found with Harvey. Okay. Take a look at this one. This is from Genesis Fernando and Janari. Here we have a different definition. That's why I am always asking you if you can uh, uh, paste the information here so you can easily go and read the definition that your classmates got. And you can also compare. Probably they have different information, right? Mm -hmm. And this is going to be of a great help as well. So as you may see, um, we have been, you know, discussing about this. And I'm going to share this one as the last activity. So you can have this extra reading because this is a very interesting information that we have here. So I'm going to send you this information, this link, so you can have this extra reading, you know, after the class or whenever you have the time to do this. And you're going to find so many great examples, you know, about activities that these companies are already implementing in order to uh, have the CSR model in their businesses or companies. Very nice information that we have there. I really hope you to have this extra time so you can have these examples and motivate yourself, you know, to be part of a, probably one of these activities. Sometimes it is very hard for us to, um, ask our companies to develop those activities. But we as a, let me see, se las envío aquí allá. Nosotros como ciudadanos, you know, individualmente podemos hacerlo. We can implement, try to do, or to give back to society in a positive way. So, Vamos a chequear la asistencia, please, chicos. Me dicen aquí o presente. Aquí. Vamos a ver. Here we go. Ok, ya compartí para que puedan leer. Ejemplos, el viernes tuvimos cuatro empresas, cuatro multinacionales, muy similar la información, right? Vamos a chequear la asistencia. Here we go. Andrés, Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Very good. David Samuel Galdames Monterroso. Present teacher. Ok. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Muy bien. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here. Ok. ¿Quién es el Carmen Hernández Vichuela? Present. Harbin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Yasmin Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Telma Cleotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Muy bien. Ok, chicos. 
preguntas, comentarios sobre los temas que hemos estado discutiendo. Ok, David, don't worry. Entiendo, entiendo. Eh, muy bonitos temas que hemos estado discutiendo. Espero que igual eh, sean parte de motivación para ustedes para tratar de implementarlos en su lugar de trabajo o en el área personal también. Siempre vayamos más allá, ¿ok? Tratemos de buscar información extra, de leer, de aprender más definiciones, que es parte del de proceso de aprendizaje, ¿ok? Y de tratar de implementar todo lo que se ha aprendido en el módulo para que pueda ser de beneficio para nosotros mismos y en nuestro desarrollo como estudiantes, ¿verdad? Estudiantes del idioma inglés. Comentarios, chicos, preguntas. Si no, ahí queda también siempre el chat de WhatsApp. Quedan eh, quienes nos apoyan de parte de Inglés Corporativo para que ustedes también puedan hacerles llegar cualquier duda. Con la plataforma está muy bien. Todos con sus ejercicios completos hasta el final exam. Congratulations, guys. Si no hay más preguntas, pues let's stop the class here. And thank you so much for joining this class. And see you next time, okay? Bye-bye. Have a great night. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. It -bye. Bye. was a pleasure. Bye-bye. Take care. It was a pleasure. Take care. It was a pleasure. Take care. Bye-bye. 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 B